my Wakundas, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Gaga. I'm so excited to be here. I'm happy to be here. Oh, finally, it's the end of the week. It's a new month. Happy March. I hope you guys have been fantastic and you're well and you're awesome. I am awesome. I bless my God. I thank God. I bless the Lord for this day and for keeping me here. Yeah. And today I want I had something that I, I wanted to share with you. <laughs> you know, I um 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 I love I love I love giving life. I love giving lights. I love just like yeah transmitting that light of christ i love just like giving hope and um yeah so yeah I, I i this is the platform that i feel most i can encourage so if you're new here please subscribe i'm megaga chiku and uh, i just uh, uh my content is about god inspiring through god and and lifestyle uh, yeah and so uh, today I wanted to talk about how to wait well how to wait well and I had some nuggets I wanted to share with you and I hope they will be helpful I hope they will be productive to you and I hope they will bless you as well so yeah yeah let's let me let me set up this so Vakunda, this is what I was saying we all face the waiting season we all uh, we all uh, have to undergo the process of waiting in one way or another it can be a short period of waiting it can be a long period of waiting it is all just in the in the trusting of the lord so that we do not get weary and i i, I found i was just looking at if you watched my last video yeah i had spoken about just like living in joy living in joy in all seasons and being grateful being thankful and so uh this also should apply in our waiting season in our waiting periods of life because one way or another uh the world has 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 lied to us like things should be in instant we should everything should be a, an instant on instant gratification but god tells in many bible stories we see that that was the opposite actually god spoke something to someone and it took it could take years before something manifested so what do we do in that period do we give up do you do you leave god do you do you do you do you get bitter you know there's so many things that uh, should make us wait well should, if we only are, are, are abiding in god that should should will will eventually uh, see us through the waiting season and we will see like truly truly we waited well so these are some of the things i i came across and i found them they were so good and i wanted to share with you my wakundas you might be waiting for a job you might be waiting for a child you might be waiting for your spouse for your for your wedding you might be waiting for your healing for your deliverance deliverance of a loved one there are so many things we wait and sometimes we get weary because we have prayed we have prayed we have done everything but maybe still god is saying it is not yet time so some of these things that we can do to to wait in a good manner in a way that pleases god are one you need to have the right spiritual mindset if you are in christ you really need to know who christ is the character of god i've been reading hebrews my god and i've just been mind blown because it is truly speaking to me because it says that you should really know that god god is a good god god is love so if you really know that god is love god loves you god is not unjust even in your waiting even when you you're pass, passing through mount god is never unjust so get the, that mindset in your head just know that god god is not conniving god is not he's not cruel god is not he's not like against you he is actually after you and all these things only come to make sense after after you've passed the test so if you really know that god is not unjust god is good god is love and ulti ultimately we should surrender to the will of god then you will wait well 
And some of these things that you should do is for you to be rooted in God, for you to know that truly, to have his strength because sometimes flesh wise you 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 there's someone that someone someone's testimony i saw and he he, he actually it was he he felt like i give i i've given my life to god i've given him everything and still i'm suffering i'm not living a life that i want so he said god i give you the middle finger I was like, oh my God, yes. So some of these things, they are real, actually. They're real because your life is not portraying maybe the God, the power of God, I'm at the testimony of God, the hand of God in your life. But what do you do? You have to spend time in the Word. And spending time in the Word, it, it actually shows you like who God is. It shows you the character of God. It gives you strength from those people who waited for long. So spend time with God regularly. That means by Word, read his word spend time in prayer invest in your prayer life invest in your spiritual journey and all this doing all this it filters away the voices of the enemy the voices of people who are telling you to to give up like job uh, job's wife who told who told him to forsake god to 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 insult god and spending time with god actually now uh, it's it's it like it's a sieve to all these voices because your 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 stamina your spiritual stamina is built in God, and in you will know that God, God never changes. Situations yes come they come and go, but God is always faithful. He's he says in Psalms ninety one, God is faithful. His his faithfulness actually is like a shield. He 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 says in the book of Hebrews like uh, he he when he makes a promise. It's like an oath. He and an oath is something uh, that is very, very, very deep. It's something that can never be revoked. It's like when you take an oath in court. It's like you are saying the truth of the truth, and God takes an oath on Himself. Like He is the highest of high, and so recognizing that He is the highest of high, He knows that He will not fail Himself. He will not lie to himself because he is holy so spend time with god the second thing is maintain an attitude of hope you have to read the bible and know that god god is our hope actually he is our hope if you leave god now where will you go actually outside is even worse the world is even worse because if you don't have hope you'll get yourself mixed in alcohol in addictions in 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 lustful behaviors in in just the world and actually now you you will crumble and you will not leave you will not leave the purpose your purpose the purpose god kept for you or intended for you so maintain an attitude of hope and hope is in christ hope actually is jesus himself because eventually when it seemed like during during the the, the good friday it seemed like all hope was gone but still the disciples waited on God. They waited and they were sure like, yes, on the third day, he will come back. He will come back. And they had that small hope. It's like that small seed, mustard seed, mustard seed of faith. So just have hope, have hope. This hope is Jesus himself. That truly, truly, he will come around. He, this will pass. This season will pass. This mountain will pass. There's nothing impossible with God. Trust in him. Spend time with God. Have hope in him. Let your hope be anchored and firm, secure in Christ, knowing that truly he will He will make you victorious. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, just pray about everything with a thankful heart and God. God, God himself will uh, will fill your heart, will fill your your hope every day. He will renew your hope and your strength, uh, according even to Isaiah 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 41. So He will renew your strength and your hope, and you'll not grow weary. Yeah. So Christ is our hope, not people, not things. And hope is not a wishful way, uh, a wishful way of 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 wishing it, it is not a wish it's not a wish like yeah i just hope and uh that that i'll do this and this that eventually thing any yani you just your hope is on a surface value no your hope should be on god it should not be based on people like you you hope someone will come through for you you hope uh, I, 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 this 
something will just happen on an artificial level no hope should be in christ it is knowing that christ does what he says according to his will that is hope and then uh, i can give you an encouraging word uh, uh, you can you can read this and yeah i'll just highlight it uh romans 15 13 it says may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit so may the god of hope he is the god of hope he himself is a god of hope jesus himself is the hope and he's saying may he fill you the word in romans it's saying may he fill you with all joy may you be filled with this joy and with this uh with this with this peace knowing that you can trust in him psalms 27 14 it says wait for the lord be strong and take heart wait for the lord and some of this actually when you read such like you have established in the beginning these verses they give you strength they give you power and they just make you feel like wow god is truly speaking to me god is truly truly speaking to my heart the third thing is uh con the third thing to do when you're waiting is continue to serve god Continue to give your life to God. Continue to give your your life to people. Like, yeah, you have been a Christian, so you've been you've known God. You you've known His power, His goodness, all these things. So don't get to that level of of being so much bitter that you you abandon God. Continue to serve Him. Continue to be a servant in Christ, even if you're not seeing the fruit, the the the, the fruit of the labor. Trust you me, the time will come. It is never in vain in God. God does not uh, that, that does not leave or abandon his children. He does not forsake his children. He says, I will never forsake you. I will never leave you. So continue to uh, to be a servant of God, going to church, ministering if you are in ministry, uh, give hope to people. You might, Actually, you might be dead, dead, dead in your situation. Like, but... Someone tells you, I'm going to go into this and this, this and this. How, are you are you in a position to still fill them up, to still fill their void or what they are, they are looking for? Yet you yourself are in your worst of your worst. So speak to people. Continue to 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 give life to people. Uh, according even actually uh first corinthians 15 58 it says therefore my brothers and sisters stand firm let nothing move you always give yourself fully to the work of god because you know that your labor in god is never in vain shift yourself from yourself and give to people give yourself to others actually it removes uh, the, the 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 prideful um, the selfish nature of your of yourself of looking at your problems and and magnifying them because now when you allow people to um to come into your life and for you to speak to them you feel you even you you are filled yourself when you see them have that gain that strength back you you feel like wow wow that is god that is truly god and that blesses you truly truly the fourth thing is keep living your life don't stop living your life don't stop having fun don't stop uh, doing your hobbies if it's writing if it's cooking if it's exercising if it's meeting your friends don't seclude yourself don't uh, don't don't give the enemy that chance to just bring you down and bring you down completely keep living your life go out there uh, if you're single go out there have fun have life travel adventure just know that because life is passing in this waiting season it's uh, yeah time will not stop for you so as much as yes you're reminding god every day god i'm waiting for this i'm waiting for this are you living your life are you going to work are you making connections and and meeting people of different cultures and different and different mindsets and just yeah connecting yourself to people so live your life live your life because this period of time it will it will not it it is not nothing it is not nothing it is something and it should add 
to the purpose that you are going to the thing it will add to to the to the goal or the vision that you, you should be having even as you wait because this nugget uh, that that really shone on me it's like it, it said like life doesn't just life doesn't stop just because god hasn't answered or hasn't answered yet so the only thing to do is trust god and i will give you another another example in the book of jeremiah 29 4 14 it says uh, this was when the israelites were in babylon and jeremiah was sent was sent to speak to them this they, it was like not their promised land so they were outside they were waiting for the salvation of christ of of yeah of the lord basically and the word in the word the scripture says this is what the lord almighty the god of israel says to those in exile this is now jeremiah speaking he's saying this to those in exile from jerusalem to babylon he's saying build houses settle down plant gardens eat what they produce have sons and daughters find wives for your sons and give your daughters to marriage and now leave you know I, that this 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 is so good for me this is so good this is so juicy i was like what oh my god i needed this <laughs> yes increase in number seek the peace and prosperity of the city for if it prospers you shall also prosper are you in a desert land right now are you in the wilderness are you in a, a a place where you don't like it? Ask God to bless that season. Even if you're not seeing like still you're not seeing a breakthrough. Let God let, tell God, God, I need to see your hand here. Because if you prosper there, then if it prospers that place, that that whatever uh, area prospers, you're also going to prosper. When 70 years are completed, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise. This is the most good. You don't know if it will be 70 years, God forbid. You don't know if it will be how many, what season, what kind of, how many seasons that will pass. But God is saying, I will come to you and we, I will fulfill my good promise. For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So, in this season of waiting, are you happy? Are you living? Are you marrying? Are you, yeah, if, if, if you are, yeah, if you, maybe it's something you're waiting, that something is, you know, are you happy for others who are marrying? Are you happy for others who are giving a birth to babies, you know, who are getting those fine jobs that you want? Are you happy? Go and celebrate with them. Have, be, have joy, you know, have joy, build houses, sit, write down your vision, go out for, go, go out for it and accomplish it and i'm telling you at the end of it all you see wow wow i truly lived my life i have no regrets whether it was a season a very long season or a short season i have no regrets so live i tell you go and live your life the fifth thing is when those crazy sad moments are hitting you like uh uh like i don't know what reflect always the fifth thing is to reflect on the goodness of god in your life god is always speaking to us i'm telling you god is always speaking god one day i will share this beautiful story this beautiful testimony of how i was feeling and god literally spoke to me god literally speaks to you in in even in videos in in, in movies like you will I tell God, God, I need your word. I need to hear from you. I need an encouraging word. I need something. And I'm telling you, the thing that you go to click on your social media or on your YouTube or on YouTube or whatever that will come across, someone will speak to you. It will be God. I'm telling you. So write those things down. Like build an altar. Like know that this was God. This was God. And for sure, for sure, be grateful. Be grateful because he has not left you. He speaks to you. He speaks in many ways. He's, he can speak through a post in, ma, in a matatu. I am telling you, God has spoken to me <laughs> in such ways. Like, I'll just see a post like, God is for you. The favor of God is upon you. Like, 
something so cliche and it will strike you because this that is what you needed and when it strikes you you will know that was god that was the holy spirit speaking to you so start praising start giving thanks see the greatness of the lord see his goodness even if it's not just speaking if it if it's just a small favor someone has done this someone has sent you some two thousand and you are in that spot of you are totally broke see that as god and be grateful be grateful and rejoice rejoice because god is holding is is holding you close is holding you close in in his in his bosom and his sin i love you i still got you and i will never leave you nor forsake you the sixth thing i'm sorry if this video will be a bit long but the sixth thing is to also ask god or look for the lessons from god uh, i think i'm in this period like i'm still asking so god what what am i really learning what is the lesson for this waiting what is yeah like tell me reveal to me is it i should be strong in in perseverance is it that i should learn how to be patient and wait on you is it that i should have continue to have strong faith or are you building my faith to truly 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 and i know that is one thing like god god sometimes puts us in this waiting season for us to grow in faith and to know like truly god uh, God is truly faithful and you can rely on him. So yeah, look for the lesson. What does God, what does God have? Why does God have me in this season or in this situation? And what is God revealing uh, to me about himself? And what is going, what is God trying to teach me? So ask yourself these things and try to listen, try to uh, jot down what comes into your mind spiritually and even maybe sometimes it's a character god is trying to 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 or a character or a virtue god is trying to bring into you so yeah ask god for these things I meditate on this season and yeah and you will know you will truly know what god has taught you it you can know then or you can know even after the waiting season is over yeah so just be open and ask god these questions then that's the seventh and the last thing is don't take matters to your own hands uh an example of people who took matters on the to their own hands is abraham and sarah yes they were the faith our faith parents but still they fell uh, they fell a bit and they 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 took matters to their own hands and and they got a child uh, not intended by god you know that was not in the plan of god yes god allowed it but still it even prolonged and it caused so much so much um, uh wrangles between sarah and 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 her guy yeah and yeah it was just more burden actually when you take things on your own hands it will it is more cumbersome it is more painful it is more draining it is more any it is just more dramatic in your life and in this season already you don't need added you don't need added burdens you know you don't need added bitterness added hunger you know so just don't take yes the enemy will tempt you counterfeits will come and they will tell you yeah just take the loan don't i might just take this ah take the the bribe you know there's nothing wrong with it everyone is doing it so don't take things in your own hands it can end up um really bad or even really regretful so don't take things yeah on your don't take matters on your own hands trust in god uh, watch out for the enemy who is like the who is like a prowl, a prowling lion, um, and don't disobey. Don't just disobey. Return to God with all your heart, and trust in Him. Trust in Him. 
and some those are some of the nuggets that wow i was like wow this is so good i have to share with my bakundas i'm praying it has blessed you if it has blessed you please put on your like button subscribe send this video to other people who are waiting we are all waiting and it's so easy to get frustrated it's so easy to to be cynical about it and to enter into that net of the world where nothing you're like nothing ever happens to me ah you you you, you just mingle yourself with the world and 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 abandon i'm a reject god and it's so easy but we um god is telling us let us wait well let us be firm let us be strong let us be secure in in his love secure in in his he's a father in his abbaness he no he is a father he is a good father and if your, your wicked father can give you everything that you need what about a good holy holy father huh? yeah let us trust in him let us ask for the grace of trust in him because some of these things you have to pray for them if there is they are a struggle if you are we are still like you know still infants are not really mature in the spiritual works or walk of 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 of, of the spiritual work of of christ of, of god yeah let us ask for these things and i'm telling you god answers literally the smallest prayer god answers and i know if he answers the smallest prayers he will answer the big prayers so i hope you love this video and please share and have a fantastic fantastic um month of march a uh, fantastic evening or morning or day i love you take care of yourself